We've made it clear that our objective, uh, particularly after the November sanctions kick in, uh, is that no one should be buying oil from Iran. I think governments all around the world and businesses should be asking themselves, regardless of the nuclear deal, why do you want to do business with the world's largest financer of international terrorism? John Bolton taking a hard line on Iran. The Trump administration reinstating some economic sanctions and promising more in the coming months. President Trump making the announcement this morning on Twitter saying, quote, the Iran sanctions have officially been cast. These are the most biting sanctions ever imposed. And in November, they ratchet up to yet another level. Anyone doing business with Iran will not be doing business with the United States. I am asking for world peace, nothing less. Here now is now Gardner, Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom Heritage Foundation director. Now, great to see you in person. Great Thanks for you, coming in. Real so. Pleasure. Anyone doing business with Iran yeah. will not be doing business with the United States. Uh, Great Britain and the rest of yeah. Europe do a lot of business with the United States, not so much with Iran. Are they willing to risk cutting off the United States in order for that piddling business they do with Iran? Yeah. Well, I think, firstly, uh, the Trump administration is sending the right message here. These sanctions, I think, will be devastating for the Iranian regime and it will significantly weaken Iran's ability to support uh, terrorism, to support a number of uh, wars across the Middle East. And, and in fact, to funded. stay in power because yeah, the people absolutely. are against him right yeah, now. Yeah, so it will significantly, significantly weaken, I think, the Iranian regime. But also, I, I think the reality is, and many in Europe understand this, that um, at the end of the day, I think within a few months, practically every single European company will withdraw from the Iranian field. We're already seeing that today. We've seen already a hundred European companies indicating they are suspending operations in Iran. Some of the biggest European companies that have invested in Iran, so for example, Total, Daimler-Benz have announced suspension of their operations. French and Germany, yeah. Yeah, and so you're seeing some of the the biggest uh, financial entities in the EU now starting to withdraw from the Iranian uh, Well, let's economy. just put it in yeah. context here. Uh, just to take Great Britain alone, their trade with the United States is $56 billion. We export to Great Britain $56 billion. We import from Great Britain uh, $53 billion. Uh, there are the numbers, and, and it's actually greater when you, when you look at Germany. Uh, Germany actually exports to the United States over $100 billion worth of stuff. So to give up the United States for the sake of $20 billion in total, the whole trading of, of Europe yeah. and UK is $20 billion with yeah. Iran. I, I, it's, it's no contest. I mean, yeah. yes, you give up Iran for the United States, yeah, right? Ab absolutely. And there's a lot of tough talk coming from the European Union uh, right now, especially from the European Commission, from the French and the Germans in, in particular. You know, the reality is, I, I think that uh, Europe is going to quickly understand that it's not worth it to stay invested in in Iran itself and so despite all the saber rattling that's coming from the European Commission in Brussels these sanctions are going to steam roller over any EU investment in in Iran well there's and, a lot of hot air coming yeah. from this side of the pond too yeah. uh, Nancy Pelosi has come out with a tweet essentially saying that the Iran deal has been successful and it'd be a shame to get rid of it right now do you think that holds any water with anybody suggesting that Iran deal was successful I think the Iran deal has been an absolute disaster uh, and President Trump has been 100 percent right to withdraw the United States from the Iran deal and even within Europe I think there are deep divisions over the the Iran nuclear agreement. There are some European leaders who do not wholeheartedly support the EU's position on this. And without a doubt, the Iran deal greatly strengthened, actually, the position of the Iranian regime, the world's largest state sponsor of terrorism. Yeah. And so President Trump has laid down the gauntlet to Europe. You know, you either stand with the United States in the face of this barbaric, brutal Iranian regime, or you continue to appease the Iranian uh, regime. So, so just clear, to put a button a on it, the, the bottom line is for all the rhetoric coming out from the Europeans and the UK that they're going to stand by the Iran deal, they're not going to stand by the I, Iran I don't think, think so. And I think that okay. Brexit Britain in the Brexit era will break away from EU positions uh, on this. Uh, and I think the Iran nuclear deal is dead in the water. It cannot be revived. Now